Hey guys, Tech Manager with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to reset your Apple ID password if you forgot your Apple ID password. Now, there's five different ways to do it, and by end of this video, hopefully you should be able to reset your Apple ID password by following these steps. Now, when it comes to resetting your Apple ID password, the very first thing I want you guys to know is that you want to try to do it from a device that you previously used your Apple ID on. And the reason why that is that Apple keeps a track of your Apple ID and the devices that you signed in so it can trust those devices. So if you signed into existing iPhone, iPad, or MacBook, try to change it from that specific device because Apple knows that you already used that in the past with your password. So that's important. And that's the reason why the very first method, if you have an iPhone or iPad, all you do is simply go into your settings and you should see your name up here. And all you do is click on your name up here and then after that your app ID should appear here make sure it's the account that you're looking to reset and all you'll do is click on password and security so if we click on password and security you'll get to this menu and all you do is simply to reset your password is click on change password and then it will prompt you like this one for example enter the passcode of this iPhone so we'll put in the passcode of this iPhone and after I do that, I can put in a new password without entering the existing one, which is really simple to do because I'm already signed into the device. Apple knows it's me and I'm looking to change it and they make it simple just like that. This method that I showed will work on an iPad as well. So you can go ahead and enter the password that you like to change and make sure you follow those requirements as well. Now let's say you don't have iPad or iPhone, you can also do it on your MacBook. So in order to do it from a MacBook, make sure that you previously already signed into your Apple ID, that you're looking to change the password. All you do is click on that Apple icon and once you do that, you go into system preferences or on the older models, system pro settings, you want to click on that. Once you click on that, you should be already signed in like as you mentioned. All you'll do is click on your Apple ID here right here just like that once you click on it it will open up again with your name and Apple ID and here the same exact thing happens where you have your password and security so you click on password and security just like that once you do that make sure of course you're connected to your good Wi-Fi or internet on your uh, Mac here you see here when the last time it, this password changed but essentially you'll see change password up here and all you do is click on that and once you click on that, what will happen is it should prompt you to change the password. It might also prompt you to enter your first your laptop's password if you're using your laptop just to verify and then you'll get the same exact prompt. Notice these two methods, which is really easy and simple, doesn't require you to know the previous password because Apple already has your account signed in and verified and trusted those devices. That's why I mentioned if you already have a device that you signed in previously, try to use that device that will make things easier in resetting your password. Now, after you have done that, let's say you would enter your password, you'll hit change and you're done for it. Now, let's say you don't have an iPhone, iPad or a MacBook or a device that you previously signed in and you need to do it from a borrowed app borrowed device so in order to do it from a device maybe a friends or family you can also reset it from their device as well and they don't need to actually change their account sign out or anything all that you have to do is go to that device that you have apple has actually created an app to make things easier by doing the apple support part so all you'll do is app store go to app store and then download by searching your support apple support once you go head and download Apple support as you'll see this is from Apple this is their official app you go ahead download it to that that device let's say you're borrowing someone's device and all you do is click on it and it helps you get different support so all you do hit continue here and it should be signed in already to a device for example this one already was signed in automatically to the previous device but what we want to do is you want to change it to your account so you Click on confirm Apple ID as you can see here. Now, instead of using the one, it might be defaulted to the person that you're borrowing it from. You want to use a different ID, hit continue, and then you want to put in your Apple ID and then hit forgot Apple, hit your Apple ID. So I'll put in my one here, but let's just go back. Let's say we 
put it into this one. Essentially what will happen is you'll get the prompt to enter the passcode here. And after you do that, you can pretty much enter a new password just like that. Simple as that. Even if you don't have a device, as you can see, this app helps you as well. Now, let's say you don't have a borrowed a dev Apple device that you can use. The other method you can do is actually this one method will work on any device, whether you have Apple device or not. If you have general access to computer on a browser, you can actually go ahead and go to the Internet. So I'll open up new window here. Once I do that, I'll go to this website called I forgot. So I forgot is well one word dot apple dot com. And if I click on there, this website, which you can Google as well, I forgot dot apple dot com. This one's a little bit tricky because if you're using a device that you never signed in, they're going to ask a little bit more information out of you. Like if you have a phone, it will might send you if you have two factor on, we'll send you a code to verify that ask you security questions because Apple likes to know that it is being a it's your account and they can verify all that stuff and what you'll do is enter your Apple ID so here go ahead enter your Apple ID so we'll enter our demo Apple ID that we use for this and then you will enter this code here whatever comes up for your gotcha and hit continue and then as you can see here right now First thing it tells us to confirm our phone numbers. So we'll enter our phone number. We'll hit continue. It might ask another security question, but as long as it's your account, you should be able to verify that information and have it reset as well for you. Now, let's say all of these methods we tried, you, it doesn't work for you for some reason. Maybe you don't can't get to a computer or these security questions are hard to get through. You can actually try to contact Apple support in that case. In that case, just put in Google search Apple customer service and then if you go to Apple customer service let's say we Google this you can call the number here or contact here and get support online there's different ways depending on your region you can start an online support request although this will be a little bit time consuming and it will take a lot because Apple wants to verify that it's you you should be at the end after contacting them, giving all of your information. They should help you able to reset with their process. But this process does take a little bit longer, but it's the very last process that you can do. So that's how you go about resetting your Apple ID password. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe button. And thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.